Hi, this is Uday Kumar, working as an associate solution architect. Today we will go through how to create data wave library and uh, publish and consume it within one of your Mule application. But before uh, actually creating you know, the data wave library and publishing it, we need to set up our uh, local environment, our uh, development environment, so that we can uh, create you know, the data wave library out of your AnyPoint Studio or uh, AnyPoint platform. Data wave library is a reusable package of data wave module and mapping files and resources files such as JSON, XML, and CSV. Uh, this is the first video uh, of this series. And uh, first video of this series, right? And uh, we will uh, see in this video how we can uh, install uh, different uh, tools and components uh, for our local uh, data weave library uh, creation, right? So data weave enables you to implement and test your custom uh, data weave modules and mappings and package them into libraries that you can share and reuse through any point exchange. And uh, to do that, uh, we need some uh, tools uh, on our local machine uh, where uh, we need uh, uh, no, the Adopt uh, Open JDK, right? Uh, we need to install Apache Maven uh, where the minimum version is required. Minimum version required is 3.6.3. Uh, and finally, uh, installing you know, the Microsoft Visual Studio code where we will uh, just install uh, the data wave 2.0 beta extension. So let's see uh, you know, the different uh, URLs of So here you can go, uh, you can go to this uh, URL and install adopt open JDK. So you have a uh, different operating systems you can use and different architecture, whether it is 64 bit, 32 bit. And uh, then you have a version, you can select a version of your uh, choice, right? Uh, here uh, we have uh, no, the URL for Maman Apache. You can uh, install on your machine. Uh, from one of these uh, right, uh, GIF files. You can download and then set up. We will not go through uh, you know, the details of installing uh, the OpenJDK or Mavan in this video. You have to refer uh, from outside, right? And uh, this is our requirement uh, of installing you know, the Visual Studio code where uh, you can install uh, different flavors, uh, Windows, Mac, or Ubuntu. So I have uh, no, the Windows machine, right? So I have uh, taken uh, the Windows uh, download. So once you download it, uh, right, uh, you can just run it uh, as an administrator and then install it. Once you install it, uh, run it uh, and, uh, and you will see the, the windows like this uh, of the Visual Studio code. And here, first, we need to install uh, you know, the data wave extension uh, version 2.0, right? So you simply go to the extension tab, type in data wave, right? And you will see you know, the data wave extension. So I have already installed it, and that's why I'm getting disable or on install. If you have not installed already, you will get a install option. You install it, it will take a few minutes, uh, right? Once it is installed completely, you can uh, close your Visual Studio code and uh, then restart it, right? So that's all for this video where you have installed uh, know, the components required to create your uh, data weave library. In next uh, video, uh, we will see uh, how to create uh, I mean, uh, different data weave project uh, structures. And uh, then there are different options or steps to uh, create a data weave library project, 
uh, and then deploy to uh, exchange and then consume. So we will have a, a few videos uh, in next uh, where you can see it and uh, then you can learn it, right? So for now, uh, I'm just uh, going to close this uh, session now. And uh, I would like to thank you for watching this. If you like it, please subscribe it and, uh, and share with your friends. Uh, we will see you soon in next video. Thank you so much for watching this.